Alright, hey, what's up, YouTube? This is uh, a tutorial on uh, how to make a man cam overlay. Now, um, I first uh, saw this little effect for a cam um, in the uh, J Pizzle, whatever, the live time John and Jory um, thing. So it's goes to. And, um, let's see. Uh, where is it? That's what I'm trying to enjoy. Um, I saw, I first saw it here. And if, um, you go through the videos and stuff, you see that they have, like, a little overlay thing. I, uh, like, um, like, right here. It has answer time, then we're answering email questions from our last episode, so basically like that. So um yeah, it's very simple. Um all you need to do is have manicam. Bring that up. All you need is manicam. A uh, really awesome free program and very simple. Just you just need to open up uh Whatever photo editor you choose, I like Paint.net. So wait for it to load. It uh, take it takes a long time when you're recording. And, um, so yeah, you just um um in Manicam. I don't know if you can make it bigger, but um, the sizes when you go to sources, um, it allows you to go up to 640 by 480. I don't know if you can um, like make it bigger, but um, yeah. So what I what I did was I just made the picture for 640 by 480. Yeah, it? <laughs> and then I just did um just uh, made the background transparent and then from there I just added a box and then added a uh, another one on top And just did a bunch of gradient overlays. Um, I did uh, flames or closest to flames, flames I can get. Um, they weren't flames like here, my background here, because um, I did that in Photoshop. But I hate Photoshop to be quite honest. So I like using Paint.net because uh, it's very basic and the end products do look pretty sweet. So um. You just need to select the box. Um, that's right. You have to close the everything. But uh, yeah, so just need to select it. Choose a gradient tool, whatever. And then in order to do fire, I just did this. I just had the gray part on the bottom, and then made it. The gray part bigger and just went to vex render clouds um I always forget which one it was though which one it is so I have to go back and I think it's overlay so you just need to choose whatever settings I like 250 yeah and on scale and then point fifty on roughness but you can make it up you can bring it up higher as you can see it looks more realistic and then in order to do the colors you just go to adjustment sapia and curves and then go to um, red green blue select one color I 
easy select um, blue and then deselect blue hit green and then you can make a fire color and stuff so um, and then what I did was I just added a bunch of text with all the links now if I can find my as you can see I have the logo right here um, then my Twitter Facebook and YouTube and so I just need to do that and you just need to save it make sure to save it as a PNG uh, so yeah, if you, so that way it can support the transparency so that way you'll still be able to see the screen just close up that and after you save it you want to go to the effects uh, thing in Manicam go to add new effect and look for your picture look for the picture as you can see it allows uh, bitmaps, PNGs, JPEGs, GIFs, or GIFs, whatever and MCEs which I forgot what those are but um, you just need to find it you just need to find a picture so I'm gonna look for a decent picture I can use um, pause it so, so um, for this I'm just gonna select this um, so select that and then what you want to do is you want to go to uh, the objects and make a uh, if you want you can make a new category I made overlay then you just need to give it a name stew blah and then created by um, and hit ok so now as you can see right here it's right there you just need to click and take out that then you can reposition it um, you can't put it on the sides, you know, I, th I don't know if you can turn it horizontal or whatever, but, yeah, it's as easy as that. Uh, yeah, delete that effect. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That's basically it. And you have your overlay, so when you want to go on live on Ustream or something, or even if you're recording a video boom you have uh, an overlay so that's been on the tutorial I know it's been a long one but yeah so